a sworn enemy, almighty oh, Pasha. <laughs> he is there behind the curtain. <laughs> Kill him! Kill the intruder! <laughs> There is no one. <laughs> he must have slipped out. He won't escape. <laughs> there is no one. Chemos was testing my vigilance. <laughs> it is his way of telling me I am the chosen one. <laughs> Why else should he put me to the test? Jolly good thing you come along, Governor. That crocodile would have had me. Alligator, you must be accurate. Phone here! I gave instructions no one was to phone you at the hotel. It was important, mighty Pasha. What was? After we left, the priest found the novice gagged and bound in the storeroom. There was an intruder tonight. Did he see who bound and gagged him? A plumber came. Plumber! It was Sexton Blake. He's a master of disguise. It is well known. You're on the job early, Governor. You've overslept. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Governor. Morning, Mrs. B. Good morning. Three eggs for Tinker, Mrs. Bardell, when there were only two for me. Well, at his age, he needs his nourishment. Yes, you have a point, Mrs. Bardell. He also needs a rest. Well, after your harrowing experience of last night, old chap, you can take it easy here today. But where are you going, Governor? Actually, I'm going to the Venus Theatre. The Venus Theatre? <laughs> oh, yes, we do all right in the old battle organ, don't we, Mick? You wouldn't be nowhere without me, Mandy. They don't pay for you and your silly old garret organ. Thank you, Missy. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my lord. 
You see, Manly, it's the idea of a talking monkey that pulls them in. Then why don't you learn to sing? We might do even better then. I'll have a go. Good, then one of the all favorites. I'll go to where but father and he stays at home all day. He sits by the fire with a quart of beer and he smokes a tennis clays. Mother works at the wash camp. So does my sister Anne. I've met lazy men in my time now and then, but a champion is a brings you here, sport? He wants to see you, Manly. He finds you irresistible. Not lost the old knack, I see. Not altogether, but I need your help, Manly. Can you do a hornet? You could do a wasp, man, and a hornet. It's altogether deeper and more menacing. Uh, who would you want to mention? Never you mind. Here, wait here. I'll be right back. Board as well, Pedro. I'll bet the governor ain't. felt that way at the beginning. Well, some of us. You will get used to being here. Zikiana, my dear, you've only been here a very short time, but I've grown very fond of you. It is my wish to help you. But you two must help yourself. You must not disobey them. For if you do, you will suffer. She is a great beauty, mighty Pasha. One could not have found a more perfect victim. Her beauty will please the god? Oh, indeed it will. You wish to see her? Yes. No. Since she is dedicated, Maramabe, it is best that no man look upon her now. As you command, Excellency. Hmm. Come. Sexton Blake is here, my lord. He has come as I said he would. I will see to the arrangements we decided upon for his departure. Mr. Blake, what can I do for you? That mask that was left behind in the museum, Hubba Pasha, somebody, obviously the same person that stole the mummy, has now stolen the mask. Deplorable. But also, I suppose, predictable. Oh, yes, I had my boy Tinker on watch. To no avail, it seems. Tinker was nearly killed, Hubba Pasha. My condolences to Mr. Tinker. Did he recognize his assailant? I don't know. He is still unconscious. He may not recover for a long time. 
if he ever does. God's will be done. Indeed. Oh, Your Excellency, I, I come to consult you as a scholar. <coughs> we know that according to the papyri in the museum, that the stolen mummy may contain a clue to the hiding place of the marble of Horus of Horus. Yes, yes, Mr. Blake, this we know. Yes. What, then, do we think the other papyri might contain, the ones that disappeared from the museum two weeks ago, presumably taken by the same thief that stole the mummy? Mr. Blake, I have already told you I am no longer interested. I have passed on to other matters. With your vast knowledge of these affairs, you have no idea who might have the mummy or the papyri. No, Mr. Blake. No, I do not. Anything the matter, Harbour Pasha? There is some insect. A what? A hornet. You don't see it. I can see nothing of the kind, Your Excellency. Yes? I am to tell you, my lord, from Marema Bay that he and Abdullah Effendi have completed the arrangements as you commanded. Tell Marema Bay to put them into effect immediately. Cassandra will show you out. I'm sorry, Mr. Blake, I could uh, do so little to help your scholarly interest. Oh, you have been... Uh, oh. oh, more than kind, Your Excellency. Goodbye, Mr. Blake. It's very odd. Be shown out by a female member of the household. And Marema Bay and Abdullah must be very busy.
Something I can do with this, Mr. Blake? I want a seal made, Mordecai. Your best work. It's got to pass muster under some very sharp pairs of eyes. Oh, whose <laughs> eyes? It's not your affair, Mordecai. Any more than it's my affair that you've got enough stolen goods back there to sink the North Sea fleet. <laughs> your point is taken, Mr. Sexton Blake. And, of course, it's always a pleasure to do my best work for a gentleman like yourself. You have precisely one hour to do the job. Only one hour, Mr. Sexton Blake? As you value my goodwill and my discretion. You were incompetent! That is why he escaped! And as for you... Another time you have disappointed me! This Sexton Blake, he is a devil, not a man. Ah! He has many times escaped death by the skin of his teeth. It is well known. He must die, Gus. Die. What might you be wanting here? A civility due to an old customer. For whose benefit is that, Mr. Sexton Blake? I've told you before, Mordecai, you mind your business and I'll mind mine. So, have you made that seal? But I warn you, Mr. Sexton Blake, it's not good in some of the detail. The work is so intricate it would take days to cut something wholly accurate. I don't have days, Mordecai. I'll get some paper and we'll try it. Now, Mr. Sexton Blake, that copy is a makeshift job. Each time you use it, its crudities and errors would be much emphasized. I would not really trust it to deceive, except with the first impression only that you make with it. But you would trust it as far as that. Um, hmm? yes. Now, let's see if it only has to be once. Dr. Yefa Sadiq of the Cairo Museum. Mm. I am a scholar who has been of help to the Khabar Pasha in his researches. He is therefore permitting me <coughs> to inspect the documents which concern this work and to take some away with me for intimate examination. This schedule is comprehensive and exact. Uh, the documents deposited by the Pasha on the Tenth of last month, all to be found in strong box A7. Uh, thank you. Uh. Look here, Dr. Sadiq. The Pasha himself was in the bank yesterday in person to discuss uh, certain of his affairs. He said nothing at all of your forthcoming visit. I would have expected him to mention it to us. Oh, my poof. <laughs> the uh, Khabe Pasha is a very rich and busy man. No doubt he has much else with which to arouse himself. Mm. Yes. Mm. Uh, very well, Doctor. You may see the documents in box A7 down in the vaults, yeah. but I'm afraid I can't allow you to take any of them away with you. Go oh, away. But that letter... Oh, I know. I know. Mm. But that box is category Z. <laughs> Poof! <laughs> what is this category Z? Uh, nothing out of Category Z boxes may be removed from the premises except by the owner himself. That's an unbreakable rule, Doctor. Ah, very well. I will uh, make my explorations here. Please lead me where these documents can exhibit themselves. Mm. Uh, take Dr. Sadiq here down to the vaults, Mason, and open up A7 for him. Uh, then stay with him until he's finished his business there. <laughs> uh, if you don't mind, Doctor... We'll keep that letter as proof that the Pasha has authorized your access. Now, 
permitted. So what's all this? <laughs> it is not <clears throat> permitted to remove the documents, so I make the photographs. Mr. Mm. Parkins never said nothing about no <laughs> photographs. Yeah, why should I not? He's not naughty to make photographs. I'll just make sure it's all right. <laughs> Don't be too careful these days. Uh, Mr. Parkins' office, please, miss. Mr. Parkins here. Oh, yes, miss. Does he indeed? Photographs? Yes, quite right. Look, Mason, I'm afraid we've made rather a bloomer over Dr. Sadiq. There's something wrong with that letter he brought. Oh, yes, sir. What are your instructions? Just behave as if everything were all right and let him start taking his photographs. I'll get help and be with you as soon as I can. Oh, and Mason, if he starts any funny business before I get there, sound the alarm. As you say, sir. That's all right, then, sir. He says you can take your photographs. Only trouble is, it took too long in saying it. <laughs> Sorry, old chap. Ah, here's a... Here's a fiver to make up for it. Hmm? Oh, sorry, this is beyond me. No, you're not. You stay where you are. I can manage. Just lift your legs a bit. That's it. You're feeling unwell, aren't you? I'm not surprised. Coming home last night, soaked to the skin like a drowned rat. Oh, no, all right. You've caught a chill. No, I haven't. Honest, I'm fine. I just get fed up with nothing to do. I hate it when I'm not on a job. Ah. Don't you move. I'll answer it. Mr. Blake said you were to rest. And so do I. Mr. Blake's residence? Please, I must speak to Mr. Sexton Blake. Sorry, Mr. Blake's not in. You'll have to come here to his insulting room and see him. Oh, but there is no time. I must speak to him now. He alone can help me. <laughs> Hello? Some people have no manners. Hanging up like that. Why doesn't something exciting happen? Mr. Sexton Blake. Oh, you've come to repair my wireless. I am Sexton Blake, Professor. Oh, you're from Brazil. They are going to pay the finances of my expedition to Peru. The tomb of Talara can now be found, yes? I'm afraid I'm here on other business. I understand that you're interested in the mystery of the Egyptian captain of chariots, Tufu Edas. That is correct. I have here the papyri from his tomb that was stolen recently from the Museum of Oriental Antiquities. The ones Dr. Patterson was going to send me? The same. So they have been retrieved. That is good. <laughs> You're from Dr. Peterson? Well, he has enlisted my services in tracking down the thief of the mummy of Tufu Edas, who was also the thief of those papyri. So the thief is known to you. Might I ask if it's one Haba Pasha? That is what I suspect. Right first time, Professor. Now, I obtained those papyri from their place of safekeeping without the Pasha's knowledge. I'd be grateful if you could shed some light on the contents. It would be of considerable help to me in my investigation. It will be a great honor. There is nothing I dream of more. Except my expedition to Peru that no one will pay for. I trust you will treat this matter in the strictest confidence. I wouldn't want Dr. Patterson to know about this. this uh, not, not yet. The blanket of secrecy will fall. Shh, as you wish. If you need help of any kind, call me on the telephone. How long do you think this task will take, Professor? That I cannot say until I gazed upon them. Perhaps I might not succeed, uh, Mr. Uh, Blake. Who knows? Now, if you'll excuse me, I will start right away. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. You are aware, of course, that some ill fate might befall you for tampering with these. <laughs> you mean the curse of the mummy? 
I shall try to forget it in the interest of science. You assured me that the Bank of England would be safe. I did not know then I would have to contend with Sexton Blake. It must have been him. It must have. Truly, that man has the gift of magic. Perhaps he was only an agent. What do you mean? An agent of Chemos. Perhaps the loss of the papyri is a god's way of telling you that you are perhaps not the chosen one? <laughs> Were we not in the land of the infidels, cousin, I would have your head struck off of it. Ha 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 ha!